So we have winners for the Renewable Energy Contest for the Northern Zone. They are general art students of the Jama Pensan Senior High Tech School. Led by two girls, the one with an innovation that generates electricity from plants, bacteria and soil. The challenge is an initiative by the Energy Commission and We Power Authority to inculcate in the students' the skills to develop pragmatic solutions uh, to Ghana's energy challenges. Prince Apia witnessed a zonal contest in our reports. It burns longer than the traditional charcoal. Next slide. Eight schools representing the northern sector participated in the zonal competition held in Kumasi that brought out solutions to Ghana's energy problems. After more than five hours of fierce display of innovative solutions, Jamai Pensai Senior High Technical School emerged winners. Having won the regional competition weeks ago, they had to beat Achinsua SHS and Navongo SHS for the zonal title. General art students, Janet Oheman Kansa and Kristolav Mogo Arthur led the renewable energy team. At first, our school was low, but now after the, um, the regionals and with this one, our school is going and everybody is beginning to know Jama Pensa Senior High School. So this project has brought a lot of things to us. This project means a lot to us because it, it, it can even pave the way for us to join or go into the engineering work. Although it was for science, but we are general students, but we offer um, integrated science. This is not taught in class, but it can also help others who don't offer science to join. For the zonals, we were able to power small appliances as in the regionals, but we're expecting that in the nationals, we, we will be able to power big appliances like the television refrigerators from converting the DC current to the AC current. We wanted to do everything possible that will help us to get a higher voltage to prove to the world that really we have power in the soil that can be able to use to power our appearances in the homes. We produce 9 volt for the first one, and this one that we brought for the zonal competition was around 50 volts. Other participants included business SHS, St. Francis Girls SHS, Salaga SHS, and Kwanza Technical Institute and Sunyani SHS. Director of Science Education at the Ghana Education Service, Mrs. Olivia Sewa Paris says the initiative is critical to empowering girls. We are really developing talent in these little ones, including leadership skills, partnership, critical thinking, innovation, communication, collaboration, and looking at the way they were able, able to use the internet to project their work. This shows that the government agenda in promoting digital literacy is being done over here. And because looking at the presentations, we are solving problems and it is in line with the SDGs. You see, there was something on climate change, waste management and energy. Director for a Renewable Energy and Energy Efficiency at the Ghana Energy Commission, Kofi Jako says the participants will be supported to better their innovations. What is very, very impressive is that these young ones who are the future leaders are going to form a crop, a generation whose understanding of renewable energy and energy efficiency will be different from those of us now. So that in their era, you are going to see more than what you are seeing today. And that is where we are going to spend efforts and energy, resources, to ensure that we encourage them to, to be able to harness all these talents in them for the benefit of the nation. We Power Authority partnered with the Energy Commission for this project. Wisdom Ahiataku Tokogbo is the director at the executive office of the We Power Authority. can say that the students have a lot of talents and most of these talents are hidden. We need programs like this to bring these talents out. And this is one of the reasons why Bui Power Authority 
decided to partner with Energy Commission so that we can help add value and bring out these talents from the students. Achinsua Senior High School and Navrongo Senior High School will join Jama and Pensine for the national competition. Officials say the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research and the Brew Hammond Energy Center at KNUST will help refine the ideas and projects of the students. Prince Apia, reporting.